And now, your first alert five weather. Welcome back to News 5 at 6. We are live downtown Colorado Springs. That's Tejon Street. We've got partly to mostly cloudy skies, depending on your neighborhood, but raindrops pretty hard to find. Dry all across the city. 73, that's a nice temperature, not too warm or too cool. 81 in Pueblo still, you can see the wind. Uh, just a light breeze. Some of those treetops moving just a little bit out at the airport. There's an easterly breeze at 15 miles per hour. Check it out. The first weekend of fall going to be a nice one. Temperatures dry or temperatures will be mild. The weather will be dry. Afternoon high temperatures into the 70s, both Saturday and Sunday. Pueblo, a lot of folks talking about that chili fest in town. Starts Friday, last Saturday into Sunday, and the weather will be picture perfect all of those days. Little windy Friday afternoon. Here's what's going to happen around here tomorrow for your Thursday. Going to have a downslope flow once again around here. It's going to be an unusually warm day, a little breezy from time to time. That breeze will be downsloping. That's why it's going to be dry, and that's why it's going to be so warm around here. Nothing exceptionally strong in the wind department tomorrow. You can see by afternoon winds Colorado Springs and Pueblo anywhere from 10 to maybe 15, 16 miles per hour at times. Sky conditions, we start with sunshine most areas. Think at sunrise tomorrow morning, a little bit of snow along the tops of the collegians. Full sunshine by lunchtime tomorrow. It's going to be dry all afternoon here along I-25, but by mid to late afternoon, a few thunderstorms out across far southeastern Colorado. Plenty of moist, unstable air out there. Could even see a couple of strong thunderstorms. Prowers County into portions of Baca County. We'll keep you updated as you watch throughout the day tomorrow. Going to have clear skies by sunset tomorrow evening. Now, on Friday, storm system up across Wyoming, too far north to bring us any precip here in our area. Circulation around that storm, though, brings in a southwest flow. That'll be conducive to the wind ramping up once again. It'll be out of the southwest. We could see gusts from 25 to occasionally 35 miles per hour on Friday. And with our fuels continuing to dry out, fire could become a problem across parts of eastern Colorado. Right now, a fire weather watch Friday, not for the Pikes Peak region, but for Fremont County, Pueblo County, and the rest of southeastern Colorado. Certainly no outdoor burning across those areas. A lot of times fire weather watch is the precursor to a red flag warning, which will more than likely drop tomorrow. It was nice and cool this morning. Take a look at those lows into the 40s. Afternoon highs today, 70s and 80s, a little warmer than where we should be this time of the year. Lows tonight dropping back into the 40s and 50s here across our area. Those high mountain valleys getting chilly once again. 30s from Alamosa into West Cliff tonight. Round here tomorrow, it's going to be unseasonably toasty. Afternoon highs really close to what we had today. Day and you can see a lot of sunshine throughout the day tomorrow. A few more clouds early in the day and again a thunderstorm possible in far southeastern Colorado. Wind ramps up even stronger on Friday. Gusts from 25 to maybe 30 and 35 miles per hour at times during the afternoon. Pretty tight pressure gradient at the surface. We're going to see a cooler air mass Saturday into Sunday. Nothing dramatic for this time of year. If you're new to our area, it can and has snowed here during the month of September. For Pueblo, good times and good weather this weekend with that chilly fest. Yes, it's a festivus for the rest of us. Seinfeld reference there, warm and dry, just perfect for that event. In fact, you're going to stay warm and dry for at least the next week for Canyon City. Breezy tomorrow afternoon, windy Friday with fire danger increasing. Fire weather watch for Friday, weak push of cooler air over the weekend with a pocket of dry air anchored over eastern Fremont County for at least the next seven days. Woodland Park, no rain, no snow in your forecast. A perfect first week into fall. Generous amounts of September sunshine. Aspen just now starting to change in parts of Teller County. Enjoy them while you can. That's it for now.